In this video, we will see how to delete duplicate data from a table. For that, I have created a table which is employee table and I have already created the table with specific columns and I have already inserted data into the table. Let us query the table and see what is the data present and which data is actually duplicated in the table. So the table name is employee emp underscore loie -E. select start from employee then i'm executing the query and we can see that it has five columns which is id first name last name phone and mail if we inspect the data we can see that the first name last name phone number mail id is getting repeated for other but id remain unique but the data is getting repeated if i come down to fourth row we can see that Adam Owen 1234567 and mail ID is getting repeated. Similarly, if I come to Natasha, we can see that Natasha for Natasha also the data is getting repeated. Only the ID remains unique. That is 3 and 6 ID is remaining unique. But if we inspect the data for that corresponding row, the data is repeating. If I put an order, if I put an order by close here, then it will be easy for us to identify see order by i'm going to give first name now the duplicate data will group together see now if we see see the duplicate data is grouped together and it is easy for us to identify the duplicates so what we are going to do is we are going to delete duplicate data from the base table that is we are going to modify the table which is present in the database for that there are multiple methods here we are going to use the aggregate function to find the duplicates and then delete the duplicate from the parent page table. So the method is using aggregate function. So we'll start with a select clause followed by the column names which are actually repeating that is first name followed by last name. then phone number that is phone column name is phone followed by mail so after writing the column names which are actually repeating we don't want both the ids to appear in our result for that we are going to use an aggregate function so here i'm going to use max you can use max or min either way we are going to fetch the single record we just want unique record in the parent table so here I'm going to use max of the ID column and I'm going to give an alias name as ID itself and the record is fetched from table emp underscore loie -E, that is employee table. Since I'm using an aggregate function here I'm going to use a group by clause here and the group by clause should contain the same column names which we are using in the select clause. So I put a group by clause here. Now let us run the query and see what is the result that we are getting. Now this is our result. See if we inspect the result we can see that Adam is not repeating anymore in the result. It has a unique ID. If we come to Natasha, Natasha is also not repeating in the result. Now what we are going to do is we are going to delete records from the base table using the delete clause corresponding to the ID which are not present in the query result we are going to delete records from the base table for that we will use a delete clause the query which we already wrote we will use as a sub query to fetch the id which are not repeating so i will put that in a bracket so out of that i am going to write a delete clause delete from so we want to delete the records from employee table after that I will put a where clause ID and next is we are going to use a not in clause that is where ID is not in either 5, 2, 6 or 4 that is ID which are not in 5, 2, 6 and 4 and that is available in the employee table is 1 and 3. The records corresponding to that ID will get deleted from the parent table if we run the query. So even before running the query, we have to make sure that this ID is going to get compared with the ID. So this seller clause is actually fetching all the records. We don't want all the records 
in the result. So we will remove this first name, last name, phone and mail from our result. So otherwise we will get an error. So we will remove the result or just comment out the result. We will put a comment and remove this comma also. Now let us run and see what is the result that we are getting. Select starting from the delete clause till the end of the subquery and we will run the query. Now I am getting this error message because the table name which I wrote here is wrong. It is emp underscore loie. It is not empl. So I will remove that l. Now if I run the query, I should get the result. Now after running the query, we can see that we are not getting any table as the result. But instead we got a message which is two rows are affected. Now let us run the previous query that is simply query our base table and see if we have any duplicate data in our table. Now let us run the query and see what is our parent table that is emp underscore loie is giving us. Now if we inspect we can see that we don't have any duplicate data in the table that is the parent table is duplicate free. So this is one method of deleting duplicate data from the table. There are other methods as well. We can delete duplicate data using CT and using some ranking function and there are other methods also using joins and to find the duplicates. So we will see that in other videos. Also in order to practice this query you can find the DDL in the description below and if you find the video useful please subscribe. Thanks.